Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Ivo Rabbit. As you can see, it may look very different here on the main cam. That's because this is my G920. We do have the buttons and everything up here, so it is my G920 with the buttons removed. But we do have the factory rim on. We are rocking my Fanatec pedals and my Fanatec cam brake, but we do have the G920 shifter kind of somewhat ghetto rigged up here so that it doesn't fall off but we're going to be testing my new car pack on the g920 here at lime rock to see how this g920 works with the wheel and the physics of these cars so we can take a look make sure you guys follow me and all social media all the description box below i think we should get the wheel cam and everything turned on and get this video started so let's switch to my driving cam and we're gonna go all right so we got the wheel cam and everything turned down we do have the g920 set up we're gonna go full send we're gonna gently shift because the shifter will fall off if I pull it too hard. So we are on 150 gain or 130 gain on the wheel in wheel settings. Everything else is turned off. So one thing I do notice off the rip is, uh, well, it does not spin back as fast, obviously, as my Fanatec, which is much to be expected. But we are just trying to see, as you can see that, I had to, uh, Kind of quickly spin that back because uh, G924 feedback is not going to be as fast as my Fanatec. But we are just testing this to make sure there's no weird, weird play in the wheels or anything like that. As right there, as you can see, I had to uh, spin a little bit faster back, but that can be fine tuned with some tuning and stuff like that to help. But this is the basic setup on the car. And uh, it's not doing too bad. It's definitely uh, makes me appreciate my fan attack for sure, as you can see right there. That was a bit of a, a slow rotation on my end. I did not expect or anticipate it as fast. I would have just let my fan attack go. But we're just going to kind of let this one go. Kind of let that flow through my wheel or through my hand. So we do have to help it a little bit, but that is just how I feel my G920 runs. I mean, my G920 is pretty old. A little, a little used and abused, but we are on the factory rim size. We're actually uh, not doing too terrible in this car. We have to just help the wheel along a little bit, but we're able to go. We're going to change it up, get in some in-car view for you. Oh. Oh. See, that felt a little weird. When I hit that bump, but of course the car went airborne, so. Bring the G920 back for some testing purposes on these cars. Gonna make sure these cars do feel good in all wheel hands with Thrustmasters, fan attacks, and of course G920s. And me being on my fan attack for so long, this is a huge difference bringing back this wheel. We go, we got it though. We're able to throw down some lines. Obviously it takes a little more effort in the G920 because I'm not able to just let my wheel go and get all that quick snappy self steer like my Fanatec. Like right there. Kinda had to help the wheel along but didn't help it along fast enough. So been doing a lot of testing with these cars and a lot of cool things you know, tweaking with these cars and making them how you'd be able to tune a car if you actually bought the car when it comes to like bolt-on parts and things like that. But we're not doing too bad here in the vet. Quick view change. So this car loves third gear on this track with the gear ratio and everything I have set up. We will be doing base tunes on all the cars so you can kind of just pretty much get into them and run them. Like I said, I have 130 force feedback on my wheel in the game. Um, I haven't messed too much with the G-Hub or anything like that. Kind of just left it, plugged it back in, installed the driver, and went. So I'm not even sure what firmware my wheel's on or anything like that. But we can definitely get it. little bit of a over snap there but nothing too too crazy 
So we're gonna go change up tracks and give this another rip at another track and do some more testing on it. So catch you guys when we change tracks. So I would like to make note that we were actually on a online session with that and now we're on a single player testing it in online versus single. See if there's any weird weirdness going on. Pop this Mustang in the third. Guess remember this track from that video I did with my M4. Ooh, I'm so used to the quick snapback of my fan attack. That is definitely something I would have to get used to if I continue to use the D920 more. So having it go back to kind of helping the wheel a little bit around. But overall, definitely super happy with how these cars are coming about. I was gonna lose that there. Pop this out here. So definitely been doing a lot of work on these cars. We got some uh, got some fancy things that the cars have that no other cars have that I was working on, as well as of course we gotta do some minor modeling and things like that to these cars to make them uh, a little more personable. But overall, definitely super happy with how the cars are reacting and everything like that. I really wish I could just slam my shifter or that made this shifter work, but you know, my uh, Fanatec shifter does not separate itself from the wheel. It has to be plugged into the wheel because I do not have that USB adapter. My pedals can go separately. That's why my pedals and my handbrakes don't work. Oh, we're off track. We're off track. definitely a very fun car to drive this mustang and a few of the other cars that c7 is also very fun so i think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on a set of course of doing some testing in the og g920 wheel if you guys like this you guys want to see more let me know down in the comment section down below definitely had a lot of fun with this wheel, bringing back some nostalgia of for where I started off before my fan attack. So, all my G920 users, just know we uh we trying to do, we're putting in work to make sure these cars do work well with all wheels, Thrustmasters and fan attacks and G920s. So, like I said, I think I'll do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comment section down below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Oh, I'm trying to use the shifter and it's about to fall off. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.